I know what you guys say. Yes, I've done some more work on the Annie. Yep, yeah, I did some work on the back of the elevators here. Now, I was, well, I will admit, guys, these are actually uh, kind of a bit of a pain to gain. Because I had, first off, I had some problem get, problems getting them level, if you understand level like that. And then I had just a bit of hard time getting the struts to stay in place, just like that one there. I've just took our place. Anyhow, that's that done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, uh, I'm going to turn it over, that might be helpful. These, uh, what are the elev the ailerons, slash landing flaps on the back to obviously help it fly. God, I'm making this up. Right, so we're going to put this on and so it fits on like so to the bottom of the wing. So I'm going to put a drop of just a touch of extra fin on every or oh, at least every single one of these parts. And they should go on together like so. There we have it. So that's resting in place like that. Ooh, right. Now we have these tiny little pieces here which fits onto the bottom of the wing surface. Is it that way or that way? I do not know. This is why you should consult the instructions. It falls off like that. You know what? This is just a pain. This is such a pain because it's such a huge model, but hey how. That's how it's gonna do. Let's have a look. Nope, nope. Ah. Yes, just as I thought. Right, so we're gonna take this, I'm gonna start again. Take this and we're gonna put these little pieces into the slots. Like one in there. I don't know if you can see this on camera. It's one in there. Like that. And another one in the other one. Like so. Aha, that should help us now. This should help us. Okay. Trouble is, when you get the bigger aircraft and then you have to deal with all the little tiny parts. <laughs> oh well, that's how the cookie crumbles. Okay, so that's in there. Fit in you. Like that. And you. Like that. Ha <laughs> ha. There we are. Right, yo. So that all glued in. I think what we'll do is let everything dry. And we'll go ahead and do the next one. I'm just going to hold my hand here for a bit, so I can't remove my hand at all. Alright then, guys. So, basically what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the engine pieces. Now, I did go in and make one. There we are. Um, what did the Yumos... What engines did the Junkers have? Um, oh, this guy be on my mind now. Oh, anyway... Right, last one done. Uh, pretty much what we did, we take uh, three pieces. Now, these are without the uh, exhaust systems on the back of them. We'll do that in a bit, and then we'll put the covers on together. But for now, what I want to do is show you how the parts fit in. Now, these are the, uh, I think they're the spark clubs. Spark clubs. <laughs> spark plug cables for the to the cylinders that should fit in it's a bit of a tight fit hmm. there we are oh, it's just snapped in a bit <laughs> when they say snap you do actually worry a bit ok let's just have a look that looks fine to me 
Right, so we're just going to take a drop of glue to the ends here. Just on a few corners, like so. Like that. And now technically what we should do is because of the things connected to the top of the cylinder there, not going to be much use. So what, we, what I tried and did was this. Now to make sure it's lined up. Now if you press down on those, they should should fall down to the bottom. But uh, and then again, it just hides all that lovely detail that I've put in. Now the part I've just put in there, I think that is the um, radiators on the front there. They remind me a bit of the uh, the i15 engines that you. Well, that's a point. Oh, uh, right. Okay, right. Two seconds. Let me just check that. Okay, I didn't notice that. I mean, it hasn't said so on the instruction seat. Oh. Okay. Right, it's okay. I've noticed that there's um, on the actual radiators here, there is actually one bit of the holder to the cylinders different to the others. But it doesn't look like you'll notice it anyway, so. Hmm. That's weird, don't say anything in the instructions. So, from what I can see, I think we're in the clear. And that is that, it's all lined up perfect ready and wearing to go so yep with that we've got two main en engine cylinders we'll do the others when we can but apart from that we'll move on to the next step and put the actual exhaust onto the back and the two covers together righty all we're back and we're going to be doing the um well painting <laughs> I need to start again, don't I? And regret myself, but anyhow, anyhow, guys, you get the picture of what's going on here. The J52 is all ready, uh, she's ready to be painted up and whatsoever. So, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna check here. First off, obviously, um, I need to mention something that um, I put the canopy on the top here and I've masked two windows across the side. I'll explain this bit in a second. Once I found what I was going to talk about. Um, yeah, uh, good question. Where did I put that? Right, uh, this is embarrassing, I must admit. Where the hell did I put that? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let me see here, let me see here. That's that. Uh, that's... Oh, I know where I put it now. <laughs> Silly me. I should be prepared for these things, shouldn't I do? Right, okay, so the first thing I need to talk about is what I got which is doo -doo -doo -doo, there we are I got some Montex masks and they actually are Condor Legion version masks now what I've just put in front is a completely different story of what I'm doing but um, basically uh, the masks give you a set for inside and outside canopy frame which is weird and they also give you masks to make these two aircraft and funny enough 229 is the one I am building. So there we are. So that's really handy. So guys, if you're thinking about getting Condor Legion, get them. I've been warned that they are a bit um, funny to use, but um, apparently they're very nice. So the other thing I want to talk about is uh, I've only masked, um, you might ask, question me on some rivet counters may probably have a go, but... Um, I've masked only two of the side windows here because I had a look online and actual photos of 229 and it looks like the rest of the windows were boarded up or and sprayed internal and exterior colour. So that is what I am going to do with this kit guys if anyone's wondering. So I'm, one, I'm using a different airbrush today. I managed to get this tiny little one we're back up and running. This is one of my favourite and um, nicest flowing airbrushes I use. Um, it's not a popular one, it's a one well, of these ones you get from China, which is probably some person would say that it's not the same, but I don't really care. It works brilliantly. Okay, so I'm uh, pouring in into the pot, 
some uh, Revel Aquacolor RLM02 and we're going to spray the canopy to start off with just make sure that pressure's coming through nicely not a problem at all whatsoever turn this back a bit lightly spray on that's funny hmm. the aircraft colour now many people have actually said where do I get this well rebel paint from well in the UK um, it's very popular really as well as Humbro and um, Tamiya paints obviously but um, many people frown upon these when I actually, I guys, I absolutely love them. Don't know why no one likes them. But I think they are very useful to work with. Very handy. No problems apart from a few from time to time. That was weird. Okay. But when my compressor cut out it made a certain noise. We just need to turn this around, apologise. Oh, why aren't you flowing out? Alright, oh, just very slowly. That's better. There we are. Well, you get the picture what I'm going to do. I'm also just going to spray the... Oh, that was lucky. Spray the sides here. Straight over the top, like so. Over a light coat first, and then do the other side. That's it, guys. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Most well, most of this part then. Let it dry, and we'll see what it looks like when we come back. Rightio, here we are. So, <laughs> yes, um, I went ahead and I decided to want to do some pre-shading. Now, I didn't want it to of a dark colour, if you understand what I'm trying to get at. I wanted to achieve a dark effect within the actual camouflage tone. So, of course, it is a light blue, so this is what I did. I took, obviously, my little airbrush and I painted it of the panels that are in XF18 medium blue. And that was that. Obviously, I've let it dry. Now, the thing that I want to talk about is, as you know, I got these Hatsuka paints, obviously. I've used them a couple of times, and they're pretty good. Now, the trouble is, I want to talk to you about something. Now, obviously, the paint set um, is obviously of the Condor Legion paints, obviously. The main primary schemes that they were given. Now, you probably think that I'll do on the other side in the light blue, which is this colour. Uh, well, this is this is what I'm gonna be honest about, guys. If you are in, if you're known to your RLM colours, uh, I'd say. Obviously, I've tested the blue out as well on this um, bit of plastic here. Obviously, on the Cobb State models part, that I'm not gonna use, and it's a very very light colour. Now, I have a feeling that this this paint part they've given with the cassette, it says RM65 or 78. Now you can't have both if you understand what I'm trying to say. Now I reckon this, because it's a light, light blue, it's a 78. So I don't particularly want to use a light, so if you can understand, I'm being a nerd in colours now. So it's too much of a light blue, which I'm going to actually leave out, I'm afraid. And I'm going to be using uh, Tamiya's XF23. Now, I have thinned it down just a touch, so it will be just the right consistency when spraying through. So just, ow, oh. Ow. I think I just stabbed myself, you know, with that airbrush. Have I? Where did you stand myself? No, 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 I think I might have, but no blood, just got a scratch. Okay, so I'm just going to spray the rest of this through. Now, like I said, I'll thin it down just a bit. 
find out I'll go up using too much to start off with. So I'm just going to start on the panels as you can see here. Give a nice light blue straight over the top. Straight over the top at first. And I can already tell that pre-shading is coming into effect which is really really nice. Just like so. Okay, so just like that. So that's what I'll be carrying on doing. Oh don't you can see because of the light. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the remainder of the undersides here. Just like that. As Tommy keeps would say. So there we are. That is what I'm gonna be mostly doing. So with that, I will carry on and I shall see you all once it's complete. Right so guys, here we are the pre shining is done across the top and I've done quite a bit. Now uh, we're going on to doing the camouflage. Now I've had a look through this Montex uh, painting guide. Now I'm not highly convinced at the top camos you see here for the the 2299 I'm planning on building. I'm not too keen on that. It looks too um, not how do you put it? It doesn't look like it was used mainly for Condor Legion, if you get what I mean. I'd understand if it was late German colours, but not Condor Legion like that. It was a bit weird. So what I've done is I've had a look online and I found out that the sides camos you see across here, and as well as on the front cover of the Montex mask, are correct. It's just the top wings, obviously from the above view, that I wasn't too keen on. Uh, the fuselage bit's fine, it's just the wings that I'm doing. So, I'm going to be doing what I've found online, I'll do it that way. Now, I'm using, this time, the Hattica paints. Uh, this is RLM 63, this is a light grey. It's um, it's a, kind of the same colour as O2 here, but it's just a version lighter. Very confused, I know. Now, I've put it through this the uh, airbrush and uh, basically I found out it's very thick to start off with so what I'm going to be doing that's just coming to play what I'm doing is I thinned it down just to touch well just to touch quite a bit actually just to allow it to get through the um, the airbrush, if you get what I mean. I just have to turn the air pressure up a bit more. Okay, nothing's coming through now. Why is that? Now oh, there we are. See, it's very, very thick when you start painting it through. Like that. So that's what I'm pretty much doing, guys. Just paint this. So I'm going to be doing the 63 first. This compressor's doing my head in now. From all the Thank you. So I'm just going to be doing that and getting everything painted up and done with this colour. And then we'll go ahead and I'm going to sort this out because it looks too thick if you understand what I'm trying to say. Mm, this is a bit too thick. See? So here's a quick, here's a quick tip guys. I was obviously mix up first but make sure you thin it down a bit because they are very thick. I, I can imagine you can use these what it says yeah water based airbrush test quick drying and shake well so obviously they must be for spraying through the airbrush but um, just the very quick drying stuff so I think I might mix some retarder in it just to tone down that colour but apart from that not a bad colour. Yeah, I'm thinking why I do that now. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Right, what I'll do is I'll just turn down the colour, I think. I'll mix it in um, another pot. If you're wondering, the pre-shading I did was in the 68 from Mr. Corby. That was thinned down quite a bit. Sprayed over the top. And, yeah, that's how it turned out. Not a bad colour at all. Right, so I'm going to carry on with this. And I'm going to empty the airbrush, that, as you just saw. And I'm going to clean it out. And I'm going to put a thin uh, or thinner, much thinner layer of paint for the um, 63 there <sighs> and also I'll tell you the truth, just looking at these ribbed effects like really close up makes your eyes go goop see you in the bed guys Well, as you can see, yes, I did go away and get a lose track of time. I thought I recorded the other parts, obviously putting the brown and um, green paint on, but uh, I don't know what happened. But anyway, um, it's all painted up, it's all done now, and I really do like the colours. They've come out really, really attractive scheme. And obviously, as you can tell, it's a beauty to look at. Now, I did actually try and get the effect of the um, pre-shading through. And it has actually worked quite a bit. So, I am really happy with how that turned out. Um, I will say, obviously, as I've mentioned in this uh, earlier on, that I did use the Hatica paints, the uh, Grana Civil or Spanish Civil. Uh, for the aircraft, but also they're not also obviously they're not for just Legion Condor aircraft. They are for actually very very early um, Luftwaffe aircraft, which is really nice. I can reuse them again. I would say, um, given the Hatsuka review, uh, the paints, the colours are completely spot on. Completely spot on colours. I've had a look online. They are the only problem I'd say is when using them mix them a bit first use a touch of thinner not too much just a touch and some uh, retarder uh, i use the vallejo um, water based retarder medium now obviously that slows the paint drying down well the, the the drying time down because these paints obviously as it says on the tin where does it say uh doesn't say on the on the back here, but it does say on the bottle, uh, they are very quick drying paints, very quick drying. So yes, yeah, I had trouble where the um, the paintbrush would get clogged because it was um, drying so much. But anyway, that's all done. I am now going to start work, if you can see, on the front of the nose there, where the um, black goes. I've had a look online, so I'm just painting that off. I'm brush painting this for a change. And obviously just using some uh, Revel Black to get me first base layer down. But that's all I'm using guys. I'm just going to go gently around this. I'm not going to use any masking tape because I, if you can tell just underneath my arm. Yeah I've had enough of masking. Uh, because I, after this once I've done this bit I've got to mask the whole lot to get all the markings on. Which will be a real pain. So. There you are. So that's really it. That's all I've been up to date. Um, I'll go ahead and finish this. I'll see you in a bit. 